guys, what's going on? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Thor. And yes, I may not be the weatherman you want, but I will be the weatherman you need this weekend. Because a lot of times the national reporters take off the weekend and um, local reporters only cover the local areas. So I don't know a lot of people looking at Total Cloudwater, which is what we are doing right now, which is the reason I made this video. This is Total Cloudwater for December 19th. Yes, that is my birthday. See, that's Total Cloudwater, and that is abnormal. It's got people like, oh, this happens every year. Let me tell you somebody, all right? Look at that. Let's go around the globe. Right, giant bacon strips of cloud water heading straight for you, us everywhere. So people like that happens every year. Well, one of the things where when I play the fool, but I'm a total genius. Mean sea level pressure. I'm monitoring this thing. Remember, mean sea level pressure is basically when outer space pushes in on inner space, and our inner space is our space. I should slow down. So we've been monitoring these pressure points, and what we're looking at is still the 19th. Let's go through, shall we? All right. So what's today? Today is the 16th. We are here. This is 16th, man. And mean sea level pressure, the purple and the blue, the red being low pressure, and the white, yellow being higher, middle ground pressure. It's not usually that much blue and red like that. And especially with the red, red in the middle, like red, 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 red alert. This looks like some type of hurricane cyclone by Hawaii. I hope everything's cool there. I haven't heard anything about that. You got your anti high swirly here. I'm always going around the world real quick. Like the bottom of Earth's bottom always looks kind of scary. Whoa, look at that crack up the middle. Um, So I'm just saying, mean sea level pressure is really scary. And so that's where we're at. You're acting weird. What do you got for me? An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's a heads up. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep these videos pretty short, light, sweet, and easy. Oh, I can stay on my toes. Party people. And oh, I do like to dance. Interesting. Here I am, talking about the weather. One of my crazy things I like to do is see this little bar at the bottom, where it says negative 40 to 80. That is the temperature range on this map. Having a 120 point swing is pretty extreme. And that's why the people are like, man, this happens all the time. This happens every year. This happens every year. You people who say the weather's getting weird. This happens every year. I don't remember it going from 80 to 45, to 80 to 45, to 80 to 30, you know? I don't. And, like I said, that was giant. The mean sea level pressure's weird. Cloud water's weird. People are weird. And, I do believe, we're just going off the Twitter here. Today, about 20 hours ago, was that today? Or yesterday? Signatures of a coronal mass ejection, an Earth strike zone, coronal dimming, and post-eruption arcade may impact us on December 19th. I'll track down some decent images of it for you. So let's count. We got a sun, coronal mass ejection energy wave possibly coming in. We got a galactic energy wave possibly coming in, backed up by some scientific data and some YouTube data. We've got whatever emotional roller coaster America and the world is on with their everybody's angry at everybody. We've got the giant lava lamp mean sea level pressure points bobbing up and down like they're going for apples at earth's core and we got the holidays coming and it's like you're either really happy or really sad both the holidays you know what i'm saying at least the fireballs are low man at least there's no uh near earth asteroids that's great news huh all right why was i here i came here for a reason oh no i didn't i went to go we're checking the end little this is sun this is not how crazy the sun has been getting hey yo check it out check 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 it out there's earth getting hit by the open coronal hole that has sun shooting something at us right there boom all right so all right final thing 16 looks cold very cold 17th 18th is when the cold really dips down so there you go all right we're watching the weather and one reason i'm going to stay on it with semi short videos these weather patterns have been changing so fast it's been hard for weather people to nail down specifics so i'm gonna try and champion it up for you yeah i guess yeah if you don't like it you don't appreciate it i apologize i wish you could be happy and satisfied all the time because you know life would be better asterisk would be weird what would life be like if everybody's happy and satisfied all the time you know that's wind yeah it looks windy in parts this is pressure oh my god it's scary like i said yeah so this is this one and we are watching the wind and the cloud wow watching strafe as they catch the mountaintops. You can already see the arctic chill pulses going bing bang boom and mother nature is going forget about it. Look at the low level clouds and frost in this area. That, that is wild, weird, and wacky. Look at that. That is crazy. It's a bunch of energy shooting on through. All right, what are you gonna do? Tomorrow could be a stormy morning. See, that's that giant strip that we were watching in total cloud water, man, you know? I mean, that thing was like twice the size of the eastern seaboard on the total cloud water strip. Be still super all comprehensive. We're gonna look at the sun. If you can't handle that, tap out now. All right, we're checking out the. Whoa, yeah, that was a giant filament tear off. I could definitely see how parts of that might be handed our way. Yeah, right there. Did you see that giant freaking filament tear off? Uh, we could get caught by the tiny tail, and I would think that somehow it would have to affect the overall solar wind. So as if Christmas season wasn't emotional enough, kids. 
Oh, look, giant stick figure people in the sun. That's totally normal. <sighs> there you go. All right. Is that three? What letter is that? Mm, butterfly. Okay. Henry Marcusidia is like, sometimes you have to scratch one's head at the GFS model. Tropical system by Christmas for Florida. Yeah, just a normal Christmas tropical storm in Florida. Merry Christmas, if you guys are too dry. I mean, Merry Christmas no matter what. And God bless everyone. Excellent. All right, stay cool. I'll be back. You know that. All right, stay cool. Like I said, it's going to get weird. It's going to just keep getting weirder. Let's make it through 2016 together. All right, peace out. We're supposed to be getting a giant galactic wave, which there is some science data behind it, and then there's YouTube data behind it. So take it with a grain of salt. I can definitely feel weird-ass energy everywhere all the time. It seems like people are going extra crazy. So know that that's coming. Try and be your strong best self. And dinosaurs growl. All hope is not lost. A-F-R-N. All right. So here you go. <sighs> Breathing too much. I just ran in because I had to do this. I'm telling you guys what's going on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, Thor. And yes, I may not be the weatherman you want, but I will be the weatherman you need this weekend. Because a lot of times the national reporters take off the weekend and um, local reporters only cover their local areas. So I don't know a lot of people looking at Total Cloud Water, which is what we're doing right now, which is the reason I made this video. This is Total Cloud Water for December 19th. Yes, that is my birthday. See, that's Total Cloud Water. And that is abnormal. Because got people like, oh, this happens every year. Let me tell you something, buddy. All right, look at that. Let's we'll go around the globe. Right, giant bacon strips of cloud water heading straight for you, us, everywhere. So, people are like, that happens every year. Well, one of the things where when I play the fool, but I'm a total genius. Mean sea level pressure. I'm monitoring this thing. Remember, mean sea level pressure is basically when outer space pushes in on inner space, and our inner space is our space. I should slow down. So, we've been monitoring these pressure points, and what we're looking at is still the 19th. Let's go through, shall we? 